this uh, huge, uh, huge iceberg. Wow. So if you're watching this video, so the next video, uh, the hike, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hiking along the uh, icebergs tomorrow, and that will be a separate video, and you can watch that video. I will upload it after, just right after uh, I upload this video. So uh, you're actually uh, visiting uh, Greenland with me now. If you're watching my uh, Greenland videos, you will feel as if you were uh, just uh, traveling alongside me to explore the uh, Greenland. So you can just sit home and uh, relax and watch, you know. And if you are short on time, you don't have time to watch the whole thing, just uh, bookmark uh, my channel so that you can uh, revisit it in the, whenever you have uh, more time and just sit and relax and uh, watch and enjoy this uh, magnificent uh, place. And now enough of talking, I will just shut up and let you uh, let you uh, enjoy let you enjoy uh, enjoy the view without uh, me talking so let's let's shut up now we'll, we'll just uh, stay uh, silent Hello again from Ilulisat, Greenland. I am on a mission now to explore the ice fjord and see all those magnificent icebergs. So I will take the, a boat tour and sail all the way to see those uh, icebergs. And I will let you explore the, uh, the area with me. So now the, uh, the, the boat starts from this uh, hotel over here that you see above me and uh, it will start in about 15 minutes and you need to uh, book this um, tour in advance because uh, because in the summertime it gets really really busy and uh, by the way right now is 9 30 p.m. and this tour will uh, last until midnight because here the Sun around this time never sets it's always up it's the midnight it's called midnight sun which happens above the arctic circle in the in the summertime so we will start from here and the place the tour is called albatross ilulisat arctic circle so let's uh, let's do this together and i will uh, let you see it as if you were traveling to greenland with me All right, we're starting now on our way to the boat. Hello. 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 Are you making a movie? <laughs> yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> For the tour, yes. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the tour. Oops. Wait for the roof. Wait for the roof, yeah. All right. But you can go there later. But you can be inside and outside. Okay. You decide. We all go on this boat. Yes, you all go on this boat. Let's go this way. This would be a rather nice video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sh share the whole thing or not. It's gonna be difficult. Share the whole thing. It's 
gonna be two and a half hours tour. I will do my best to to share uh, most of it, if not all. Beautiful sight. Look at this. Isn't it? Isn't it something? Okay, so if anyone would like to, then you can go on the roof now. You hear the sound, we're, we're hitting now the, the small icebergs, that's what you hear this boom, 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 you know, and, uh, and it's really, really beautiful. And in this video, you're gonna notice that I'm not, I'm not using any background music, uh, so because I want you to feel as if you were right here standing alongside me, no background music, no annoying background music, nothing. So I want you to hear the sound of the boat hitting those small 
uh, icebergs so just imagine just close your eyes just imagine that you are sailing with me right now among this these magnificent icebergs you see what a beautiful what a beautiful uh, place just just close your eyes and just take a mind trip to to Ilulisa, Greenland and just imagine just imagine visualize in your head that you are now sailing with me so no background music nothing you see now that the, the, I can hear the icebergs now boom 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 I'm hearing hitting the the boat and let me let me let me show you what I'm talking about you see you see all these we're actually sailing among all those small icebergs and probably it's gonna get it's gonna get better it's getting better and better and this this tour is two and a half hours it's too long so it's gonna be a lot uh, to, to to explore I'm not talking too much on uh, on in this video because I want you to to just imagine just just imagine and feel that if as if you are as if you are here right now with me just hearing the the icebergs the sound of the icebergs moving it's really really something something that I cannot explain really really something that I cannot explain it's a uh, it's a dream a dream that is uh, becoming a reality noticed this video no editing no editing no background music nothing at all you see this is a very basic video and I am doing it on purpose because I want to watch it years from now you know and I want to relive those moments 20 years from now 50 years from now you know and also for those people who who want to experience this magnificent place 
while they're staying at home so when you're watching this video you will feel as if you were here just standing alongside me sailing along sailing along those magnificent icebergs you know it is really uh it's really a blessing to uh to be able to explore this remote area on earth it's really really a blessing and i can't even i can't even come up with words to to to, to express the feeling that i am uh, i'm having right now it's really 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 beautiful beautiful place when you do when you are on this tour be prepared bring gloves it's too cold you know even in the summertime it's really really cold freezing and uh, the good thing about it is that you can go inside if you uh, if you get really cold you can go inside and they have blankets inside in case uh, you cannot handle the uh, the cold weather but it's really really cold but I'm prepared for it you know and uh, let's see now the boat stopped probably for photos of the Yeah, can you hear me as well? Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> and I'll come up with some drawings at some point. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. We have one. What are you are you are you three English people over there? Yes, they come out. Yes. Perfect. Very nice. What a beautiful spot to live. Yes. And you can really, you can hear the silence. Oh, I know. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really, it's a nice way to start by just being completely quiet. And wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice when, when it's so silent. So welcome to the Ice Fjord. Uh, for, for you, I, my name is Naya. Naya. So hello. Hello, Naya. <laughs> um, and I'll tell you something about the ice and where all these icebergs come from. Uh, where do they origin? And they come from, well, so the place to start is the ice sheet, the Greenlandic ice sheet. It's the second largest ice cap in the world after the Antarctica. And it contains uh, approximately 3 million cubic meters of ice, cubic kilometers of ice. Yeah, so a lot of ice. Um, and the ice sheet was uh, was made because it some at some point it snowed and it continued to snow and and then when there was so much snow that, that then at some point there was so much snow that it was compressed and compressurized to ice so that's basically it at the uh, the thickest point the ice sheet is more than <coughs> three kilometers thick and 60 percent of the whole ice sheet is more than two kilometers thick so this is some quite huge amount of ice yeah that covers the the uh, the middle of greenland 81 percent of greenland is covered in ice yeah what's the difference between ice sheet and ice cap i think it's the same word okay yeah. okay and okay. um, when there is so much ice on top of each other it's uh, pressed down and to the sides so that's why the ice moves it moves slowest in the middle of the ice sheet and faster and faster the, the further you come uh, away from the middle and the, the closer you get to the coasts I have a drawing here of the bedrocks in Greenla Greenland the Greenlandic bedrocks and they tilt towards the west so the bedrocks are highest in the east where you might also when you flew over Greenland you might have seen the the very large steep mountains of the eastern Greenland <laughs> they stop the ice from moving towards the east which means that most of the ice sheet is moving to the west where we are yeah. so that's one of the reasons why there are so many uh, glaciers in the western Greenland and a little less glaciers fewer glaciers in the eastern um, and I'll just show you this drawing up close Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the ice is, mo the, is moving faster mm -hmm. the further you get to the coast. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes. Yes? Yes. Have any of you been hiking? Yes. Then yep. you might have walked uh, just past the uh, the ice fjord and have seen all these icebergs. They are all from the same glacier. It's called Samek Kueslek in Greenlandic. It means the eastern glacier. The ice fjord is called Gingja. It means southern. And it's southern and eastern of the glacier people, those who lived in the settlement Samamut. <laughs> so, that, so that's how why it's named as it is. Um, this glacier, um, it produces 10% of all icebergs in the whole in whole in the whole Greenland. So 10% of every Greenlandic iceberg is carved from this glacier. Yeah, that's pretty pretty uh, pretty lots of um, a huge amount of icebergs. This glacier and the whole ice fjord is on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Uh, and it has been there since 2004. It was the first place in Greenland and Denmark to come on this list. So that's quite awesome. The size of this area, the UNESCO area, is a little more than 4,000 square kilometers. That's approximately twice the size of Tenerife. Uh, and I have a picture of that as well. I also have a drawing of the front, the development of the front of the glacier, the glacier front. So 6,000 years ago, the glacier front was here, ended here, where we are now. 3,000 years ago, the glacier was 80 kilometers longer in the ice fjord at the same place where it is now. And between, in, in these uh, 3,000 years, the glacier has moved back and forth. So when we are talking climate change and global warming, then it's perfectly normal for things to change. What's um, scary now is that everything changes so fast. So the speed with which the glacier has started to retreat these last 10-15 years um, is what's uh, concerning scientists all over the world because it's, it's happening so fast. Uh, but I'll just show you these pictures. So this is the UNESCO area. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is the glacier front. Yeah, yeah. So 6,000 mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. and yeah. today. Yeah. And then it's moved back and forth. The uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the one that, we, that produces all these icebergs, is the most productive glacier uh, on the northern hemisphere. It produces, um, every year it produces the, an amount of ice that could cover the US uh, water consum consumption for a year. Wow. So it produces a lot of ice. But it only calves one or twice every year. Uh, so it calves very rarely, but then it calves huge icebergs. So the rumor is that two years ago it calved a piece the size of Manhattan. <laughs> so it's really large, large uh, icebergs we're talking about here. Um, the largest of them are around uh, 1.5 gigatons of ice. Yeah. Yeah. Really really large icebergs. So when the, when an iceberg uh, calves from the glacier, it takes between three months and a year to move out here to the mouth of the ice fjord. Um, in the ice fjord, the, the, the water depth is uh, one kilometer. Uh, but out here where we're standing now, it's only 250 meters. So that means that all these large, large icebergs lying around, they are actually standing on the ground. They are 250 meters below the water, standing on the ground. Yeah, that's crazy, I think. So they, all these large ones, they are stopping all the smaller ones coming from behind from moving out into the open water. And that's why when you hike alongside the fjord, it's so uh, packed with ice. There's so much ice down there, and that's because it, it can't get out. Then sometimes, uh, because of the weather, weather conditions, uh, currents or wind, or because of the pressure from behind, they move. And then a lot of ice, small pieces of ice, suddenly came, come uh, flushing out in a very short amount of time. That happens sometimes. And that's one of the reasons why the, this ice fjord changes every day. We never know where exactly to sail because it changes every day. And if you if you look from your uh, your hotel windows or where you live, you might also see that it changes every morning, every afternoon. It's different.
gonna be really really hard to uh, to decide uh, what to uh, film and not to film it's uh, everywhere everywhere is beautiful I feel uh, like uh, I want to to film and share the whole thing but if I do that it's gonna take uh, two and a half hours which might not be a good uh, idea so we'll do uh, I'll do my best to share most of the uh, beautiful uh, views that I uh, come across as I go along the uh, those uh, icebergs Bye-bye, thank bye you. Bye. Thank you. Alright, we ended we ended the tour. And guess what time is it right now? It's one o'clock AM in the morning. And the sun is still up. This is something that happens above the Arctic Circle in the summertime. Yeah. And now I'm gonna be heading to the hotel soon just to get a good sleep and tomorrow I have a big uh, hike along the ice fjord so I'm gonna wrap up the video now so the, the tour started at 9 30 p.m. at night and ended at 1 o'clock a.m. in the morning and now is 1 o'clock a.m. in the morning this is uh, I can't believe that the Sun is still up it's gonna be up 24 hours anyway 24 hours Sun is up so uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in another video bye bye for now